Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about evaluate variable expressions with integers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here to learn about this. Evaluate 4x squared minus 2xy plus 3y squared when x equals 2 and y equals a negative 1. When we have this expression here, my first step is I'm going to rewrite this expression, but every single time I see an x, I'm going to write a 2, and every single time I see a y, I'm going to put a negative 1 in there. So let's go do that. I have 4 here, and I'll keep it color coordinated, so x is blue, if I can write this without dropping my marker. We have a ne uh, positive 2 here for x, then we're squaring that. Minus 2 times my x value is a 2 again, put it in parentheses, but then we have a y value next. That y value, negative 1. Now, we're adding this, so we plus a 3, and instead of y, again, we have a negative 1, and we're squaring that. Not too bad. We have the first part done. Now from here, we want to simplify this expression using our order of operations. Parentheses is first, but each parenthesis has just a number in it. There's nothing that we can simplify within that parenthesis, so we move on. Exponents. We have two. We have one here and one here, and they're both two. So in the next step, I'm going to deal with both of these exponents, and only that. We have four here, and two squared is also four. So I'm going to write that right here. Minus two, bring down the rest. I'll leave this two here and color coordinated here. Oh, if I can. Lots of green in here. There we go. Then an orange, the negative one. Then we have plus three. And negative one squared comes out to be a positive one, right? Negative one times one, or negative one times negative one is a positive one. All right. Now, again, parentheses are still here, but there are only numbers inside of it. We don't have any more exponents going on, so now it's multiplication and division. And I see some multiplication going on right here these three numbers here, and these two numbers right here. So what we're going to do is simplify that and multiply. 4 times 4 is a 16, separated by a subtraction sign. 2 times 2 is a 4, times a negative 1 is a negative 4. Plus, 3 times 1 is a 3. Pretty easy. Now from here, we have subtracting a negative going on, hmm. and we have addition. So let's go read left to right here. And this minus a negative sign that's going on here, that's like adding a positive. So we can go plus a positive here. My teacher used to call it zip zap, make two lines, do, do, zip zap. But subtracting a negative, same as adding a positive. 16 plus 4, positive 4, is a 20 plus a 3. Now 20 plus a 3 is a good old 23. And there we have it. Our answer here, pretty simple. We had a positive 23 when we evaluated our expression when x is 2 and y equals a negative 1. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.